Hace exactamente un par de semanas me ausenté para atender a un evento en Río de Janeiro en el que se abordaron algunos de los retos económicos y para el desarrollo que se han originado con el sistema financiero vigente. Este evento fue organizado por la organización Ideas y esta semana platiqué sobre este y otros temas con el director ejecutivo Charles Abugre. Acompaña a ver parte de esta conversación. Veamos. IDS uh, stands for the International Development Economics Associates. Uh, it's a network of uh, of development economists, uh, but also other uh, progressive um, social scientists. Um, the it was formed about 22 years ago, following a conference that was held in South Africa uh, by Anrist, and. Um, The conference uh, examined the role of uh, uh, certain voices and the contribution of certain intellectuals and analysts to a body of knowledge. Uh, it also looked at uh, economics as a science and its uh, influence and role, uh, especially in developing countries in the global south. Following this conference, a number of key persons, um, also from Africa, Asia, and Latin America, got together and decided to create ideas. Uh, two, two and a half years ago, uh, the, the the group decided that um, you know it was it was time to to you know to professionalize, institutionalize the organization a little bit because it was run voluntarily for 20 years quite successfully. Um, but now the need for a, a little more focus on making sure uh, and growing the presence of um, you know um, of the of, of the organization and its its ideas across the global south is now even more urgent than 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 than, than uh, in the past. The The international financial architecture needs reform, and that's quite uh, obvious. It is obvious with uh, repeated global financial crises, um, and it is obvious uh, in in that uh, you know um, more and more and more countries are falling into debt, and there is no is you know structured framework for addressing these debt crises, the repeated debt crises. Uh, which is constraining development, uh, but also creating a lot of social crisis in many of these countries. It is obvious because uh, many developing countries can no more access uh, financial resources at uh, reasonable costs and uh, at the, the at, at the, and and for durations that are suitable for their development. And it is obvious because. Um, the institutions that were at the heart of the current architecture, which is, um, you know, their products of uh, uh, the, you know, the, 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 of, of, of the aftermath of the, the Second World War, that these institutions are no more as effective and as uh, are no more playing the roles that they were initially um you know uh, created for and finally that these structures the way that institutions were put together and the rules that uh, of their operations no more reflect the nature of the global economy and the global demographic um, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, realities the global economy is, uh, is is no more dominated by the group of seven, the United States, the victors of the Second World War that created this this architecture, which which we, which currently dominates the way finance uh, flows around the world and and its consequences. Uh, the, the global economy economy has changed significantly. There are new players. There are bigger players. The United States is no more the biggest economy. Uh, Europe put, and the United States put together uh, are no more the largest share, hold the largest share of the global economy. And so the rules of the, the game needs to change to reflect the nature 
uh, of uh, of demographic shifts and the and 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 and, and, and economic shifts. And it, it it's 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 urgent to to do so. Uh, is partly because the 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 architecture that was put in place also is unsuitable for addressing new challenges. New challenges such as uh, the climate crisis that requires different ways of raise of financing and different ways of addressing addressing the burdens of financing. It is absolutely necessary to start to think about how to reimagine and reshape uh, the global financial system to meet both the old challenges of development, but also the new challenges of climate and climate financing. Why is it has this got to you know why, why should this architecture be shaped also with the perspective of uh, the global south well because the global south first and foremost has become the global majority not only in demographic terms it has the most most people the most countries but it also put together uh, as a, it constitutes a, the larger share of the global economy and this is increasingly They are difficult to reform because of the geopolitical arrangements around them. They, they, it, to reform the IMF, the linchpin of the system, requires that the United States uh, supports it because the United States has little power. So after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the unipolar world lasted for as long as it did, led by the United States. But you cannot wish away China. You cannot wish away India. You cannot wish away Brazil. You cannot wish away the collective global South. They are there influential and contribute significantly to the way in which finance and flows around the world. The world has changed significantly, but the unipolar structure refuses to accept it. We have to make an effort to reform them, at least to make them play more positive roles, recognizing that this reform process is not going to be easy. And because of the way in which those who currently lead the former unipolar powers are resistant to a, a more uh, negotiated process of reforming and a more multilateral arrangement to move these institutions into the next stage to, to, to reflect the nature of the global economy. If it is able to address one main thing for now, which is the reform of the IMF for, for a start, uh, linked to the ref, you know the reform and promotion of regional and national development banking uh, to, the, the latter is absolutely essential to create the provide the resources for development for developing countries but also provide appropriate resources and the financing mechanisms for climate financing this is urgent. 